everyone, it's Emily from The Painting Mama. Welcome to lesson 16. We are really making our way through our boot camp series. If you're just joining me on YouTube, hop on over to the blog. It, for a full post, it is www.thepinningmama.com. Today we are learning all about using the replicate feature. Replicate is used to duplicate your image, um, so it's super simple. But you can duplicate it in ways where you can make um, designs to cover your whole entire paper, to make a bunch of copies of one thing but using the, the least amount of space. So I'll show you how to use the replicate tool in a few different ways. Um, first I'm going to make this circle butterfly pattern for my little girl's shirt. So what I'm going to do is I just pulled this butterfly from the Silhouette store and um, made it to the size I wanted it. Um, So I'm going to turn the butterfly just a little bit and then over here on the right hand side you're going to find replicate. It open, looks like this star that kind of has lines through it, actually more than the star. Open that and you'll see the replicate panel and here you'll find all these things you can do with the replicate panel but that, we're going to focus this picture on down here at the bottom. So what you want to do is choose the number of times you want to replicate this to make it into a circle. And I'm going to choose this one right here. Actually, let's do this one. Oops. Let's choose this far one over here. So right there, I just pushed that and it made all of these butterflies line up in the circle. So then I could put in her monogram in the middle. And now I have my butterflies that are lined up perfectly as a circle. For a shirt or a water bottle or a computer or anything the wall or whatever it is you want you have all these lined up in your um in a, in a pattern so that's one thing i love about using replicate down here um, as you saw i could do um a little amount i could do three straight across but i'm going to do it like that in a circle pattern So you just want to make sure that you highlight the text, or the, the, the shape, the design. Go over here to the replicate panel and replicate it. Super, super simple. Um, the next thing I want to do is I want to make a thing for a little um, gift tag for my kids' school. You could print this on printable vinyl. You could print it on cardstock and cut it. Um, you could put do vinyl and do, you know, the, the red, the brown, and the green. But what I'm going to do is I'm just going to print it on printable vinyl. And I just want to get as many as I can on this page so that I don't waste my page. So what you do is you come over here and you select, okay, I'm going to duplicate it. Let's try and do two across. And then um, you can go down. And then, or you can go across again. You could see if you could fit three across if you wanted. It doesn't quite fit. Um, and that way what it does is when it replicates it, it puts just enough space in between there and it puts it close enough so that when you cut it, it cuts separately, but you save on space. So that's what I love about the replicate panel. Um, is you can get the most space in there, or the least amount of space and the most designs. This is great because I can do four, which is I need four, and I can run that through and cut it and then have not waste all the space by moving them really far apart. Um, you could also, let's just do this, you could design um, you could just Design your own. I'll show you what I mean. Paper. Say I wanted airplane paper. I want the airplane design or a heart or stars to be all over crossed all across my paper. So what I do is come over here to replicate and I'm going to fill the page. So that's kind of fun. You filled, I filled my whole page with a fun design of airplanes. 
Um, you could play around with it so that it actually all four of these fit four across and five up. You could just make the design a little bit smaller. The replicate feature is really a great thing to play with. Uh, instead of having to push copy, place, or duplicate, you can just replicate it to how many you want on your page. Um, you can mirror things over here. Um, yeah, so it's kind of a quick lesson today, but it's a great tool. Um, that's all I have for you, so tune in next week. We're going to learn all about using the offset feature. Thanks, guys.